Alright guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial, probably one of the most useful tutorials up to this point because I'm going to show you guys how to get old versions of your project from the repository. Now of course you want to do this whenever you actually committed some changes and maybe your boss decides that you know what, we didn't want those changes or maybe you decide that you want to go back to an older version because the new changes has some bugs in it or something like that. So before I show you guys how to do this, I want to explain exactly how it's going to be done and how it might be different than you think. So this, what I'm about to type it, isn't actually any GitHub code. This is just uh, me demonstrating. So we'll say that this was our first commit, this was our second commit, and then this was our third one. So the first one, just the initial commit was fine. The second one, we made some improvements. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The third one, we hired some dude and he lied on his resume he actually wasn't the greatest programmer ever and he committed a bunch of stuff that pretty much ruined our project so now we're like okay we need to revert back to the second one right here so what you may be thinking is this just go ahead and delete that delete the third commit somehow and we're at our second one but that's actually not what we want to do in github or excuse me in git and the reason for this is because what these commits pretty much represent are points in time. Points in time that we want to be able to access if we ever need to. Now you never want to delete any point in time because that's the point of Git. Going back to a certain point in time in your project if you ever want to. So how do we get that second one without deleting the third? Well what we actually are going to do is pretty much get a copy of the second one and revert back to it so our project flow pretty much looks like this first second version of the website third version of the website actually instead of just deleting it and going back to second we're gonna revert back in a linear fashion so that's the process and that's how it's gonna go down and now not only do we get the second version the good one but we can go back to third if we ever decide for some reason that we want to do that pretty freaking cool so let's go ahead and do that right now. So if we look, git log, I already made that first commit, the first initial commit, pretty much the basic website. So now let's actually make some improvement to it. Um, we'll say that we need another icon for the forum. So I don't know, none of these really look like a forum, but we can use this profile one for now. So copy this profile and we'll say we'll just put it at the end alright so this will be a link to the forum that's not how you spell forum and of course it's linking to forum HTML and let's also give a color what color do we want to give it give it this blue color and that blue color actually one of my favorite colors 006699 alright now check this out so now we got a nice little icon link to the forum that's good ready to commit it so let me just do a hard commit right here so git commit am and I'll put um something like made a icon for the forum now go ahead and hit enter get status we're good we made that commit so now actually if we type git log we see the first commit the second commit our project is definitely looking better so now I decide that you know what I don't have time to be making all these what the heck is this really in the middle of my tutorial get the F out of here and another pop-up oh that's probably great mate alright so now obviously I gotta spend my time fixing that Java error that just popped up so what I'm gonna do is actually hire someone else to make some more icons so we hire this dude named Kevin because Kevin is a dummy and he thinks he knows all about web design so he's like okay let me just copy this it doesn't really matter what you copy just like paste some of this crap and um you know maybe this is a link to um like Pornhub Pornhub and this one you know what uh, I'll just put it to my personal page my name's Kevin and suddenly I have an accent now I don't know why alright so save that right there and then if I look at this 
Okay, well, I messed it up, but good enough. Let's just go ahead and commit that anyways. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and commit this. And what's a cool message put here? My name is Kevin, and I am dumb. Okay, good enough right there. All right. So we obviously fired Kevin, but now look at this. Our project is all messed up. And what we want to do is we actually want to go back to this commit right here. This one where we made an icon for the forum. That was the good version of our project. So how do we do that? Well, make sure that you type git log so you can see pretty much a list of all your commits right here. And the first thing that we need to do, like I said, is get a copy of this. Now, if you type this, git checkout, what that's going to do is pretty much check out one of these versions. So what version or what commit do we want? Well, the second one right here. So how do we tell git use the second one? Well, we, we can't just type it. What we need to do is we need to reference the commit number. The commit number, this ID right here in yellow is how git keeps track of the different versions of your project. So what we can actually do is something like this. Look at this 01E7. 01E7 and DBA. So what we can do is we don't need to type out this whole string of text. We can just type the first few characters and then git is automatically going to know okay that's the commit that you want to reference. So git checkout minus minus index that HTML. All right, I can't even type now. So what we're saying is go to this commit this version of our project and get a copy of index.html. Now hit enter and that's exactly what it did. So now if I look at git status, it says, okay, you have a different version right here that's different from the repository. And that's exactly what we want because this is the good version that we just checked out. So now, as you can see, what it did is it went and it got that good version the version that we did, that was the correct one, and it moved it into our working copy. Pretty cool. And now, actually, if we refresh this page, check it out. We're right back to where we want to be. So the only other thing we have to do here is actually commit our changes because they're good in our working copy right now, but they aren't committed to the main repository. The repo isn't up to date. So if I just do git commit and I'll just write something like undoing Kevin's uh, mistakes and hit enter, get status to verify, we are good to go. So that my friends is how, if you ever want to, and you're probably gonna wanna do this a lot, get old versions of your project from the repository without deleting any important points of time. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.